How's it going guys? Nathaniel Hawthorne here and today we're going to be reviewing the Saint Laurent 2016 Spring Summer Beach Palm Tree Bomber. So if you're interested in getting this piece but you want to know about the quality, the overall value proposition or even different ways that you can sell such a bold and beautiful statement piece then this video is definitely going to help. If you guys don't already know, my name is Nathaniel Hawthorne and I make fashion and life coaching YouTube related content. So if looking good and eating a happier and healthier life is something you're into, be sure to subscribe. But with that, let's get straight into the video. So first, let's get into sizing. With this particular piece, I went for a size small, staying true to my typical size. In Saint Laurent, that would translate to a 44. I'm 5'6", I weigh 148 pounds to give you guys a general idea of how this piece is going to fit on you. That being said, Saint Laurent does stick true to size when it comes to the clothing and the cut is pretty tailored. If you plan on layering with this piece and you want to wear the jacket clothes, I would say recommend sizing up just because even though there is a lot of breathing room in the shoulder, if you do plan on closing it, the bottom hem of this jacket makes it so that the clothes is going to feel a bit too stuffy and fit you awkward. So if you do want to wear clothes and have more versatility, you can size up. Just understand you are going to be missing out on the tailored aesthetic that Saint Laurent is going for and what they intended when they created this jacket. That being said, if you are going to be wearing it more open, don't be afraid about not being able to layer because I find that whether I'm wearing a flannel, even a light beach shirt or a light hoodie, even medium stuffed hoodies, I never feel like if I'm too constricted just because like I said, there is a lot of breathing room in the shoulders for you to have movement. So that's not an issue. It really only becomes an issue if you do want to rock it closed. Now let's get into the overall construction and quality of this piece. Obviously you're paying for the top of the line of what St. Laurent has to offer. So with that, you're going to get close to perfection. When it comes to the stitching, you're not going to really notice any loose frames at all. And if you do, it really won't be anything that takes away from the design of the jacket. And when it comes to the zippers, you actually do get St. Laurent etching on the hardware and also even in the buttons you can see Saint Laurent Paris being etched inside of it so it's attention to detail paid to and a level of refinement that shows off the branding without it having to be so bold and in your face taken away from the beauty that is this loud statement piece. One thing that I do have to mention though is that you do have to be a bit careful when you're rocking a piece like this because although the cuffs is beautiful and it's one of the main things that I love about this piece, it can actually scratch the side if you're not careful. When I went into a friend's car, it did scratch the side of it when they made contact and now there is a bit of a scuff. Personally, I don't mind it. I think that Hedy Slimane, when he made this jacket, it was intended to be worn, especially because the whole runway when this was presented in the 2015 collection had a bunch of dirty old white sneakers so it's meant to have that lived in type of vibe however if you do have ocd just be careful whenever you're putting this jacket in and out or folding it so that it doesn't start scuffing the side of the jacket when it comes to the overall color this thing has a shimmer to it when you wear it in the daytime it has this beautiful elegant sparkle that kind of just makes your outfit kind of vibrate throughout the light However, in the nighttime, obviously it's like you're a dim disco ball and you're definitely spotable from yards away. And so when you're wearing this piece, it really is gonna be a piece that's gonna draw a lot of attention. However, I still think that it's subtle enough that you could wear it with a bunch of different type of pieces or even dress it down like it's intended in its original lookbook by just pairing it with something like a tank top, black jeans and some white sneakers or even some harness boots. When it comes to how this bomber actually feels, obviously it is like one of the most beautiful feeling type of garments. It has this very light buttery type of texture on the side. And when you wear it, it has a very slight heft to it. It is a lightweight jacket, but it's kind of hard to describe when you're wearing such great materials, the kind of feeling that it has. However, don't get me wrong. When it comes to this piece, at the end of the day, it is a clothing garment. So that's gonna bring us to the next point. Is this worth the price? If we're talking retail, you're looking at spending over three grand for this piece. And for that, I say, no, it is not worth retail. On the resale market, if you are a medium or I've seen even largest or extra largest, they are going for around $2,000, $2,500. For that, I would still say, no, it's not worth it. In this case, 
I was able to get this piece for $1,400 and with shipping and everything, it came to $1,500 once taxes was put inside. For that, I would say it's worth it if you understand what you're purchasing. In my case, this is really meant to symbolize a symbolic type of milestone piece that's meant to celebrate my accomplishments when it comes to my physical, financial, social, and mental world. And for that, even if it gets scuffed, this is the type of thing that I'm going to hold on to and I can even see eventually passing on to my kids. However, with that said, if you ever do get a piece like this and you want your money back, since you already paid the resale value, you're not going to be losing money. If anything, you might even be able to get a couple hundred bucks back so long as the jacket isn't in any worse condition than you bought it in or has any bad stains, etc., that would really depreciate its value. But if you're trying to buy this jacket thinking that it's gonna be the end all be all piece, honestly guys, I can tell you that this jacket is gonna enhance the experience that you're gonna have in your day to day life. It is gonna be a piece that is gonna be able to be personalized and age with you, but it's definitely not gonna make a wardrobe or bring you everlasting happiness. So it's more of a celebratory type of splurge rather than a splurge that is meant to accommodate something else that you're actually trying to fix in your life. Lastly, let's get into some of the outfits that you can rock with a piece like this. The first is gonna be the outfit that I'm wearing right now, just a tank top. We're gonna throw black jeans and then we're gonna have the from the first harness boots that are meant to mimic the Saint Laurent harness boots. This is a very casual outfit that you could wear in a summer's day that's gonna keep you very cool while also just looking a lot more carefree especially dressing it down with that tank top. If you aren't a tank top person, but you still want to have the outfit be breathable and keep those beach vibes that obviously the palm trees in this jacket give off, you can throw a lightweight beach shirt. In this case, this is going to be the Copos beach shirt made out of 100% viscose, essentially the same quality that a real Saint Laurent beach shirt offers. Now, some people may say that the patterns start to clash, Personally, I think that it still goes together and when it comes to the side panels, it matches fairly well with the tan beige type of color that this piece also is. So I think that they both complement each other and give a very good careless look. Now, if it is a bit cold and you're going to take this jacket in the spring summer night, you can not throw a flannel with it. This flannel is meant to mimic the Saint Laurent wool flannels and it gives off a bit more of a dressy vibe. Obviously, you're more insulated, so you're not going to be freezing but it's not so stuffy that you're not gonna be able to move around. Now lastly, if it is a cold night, there's some wind blowing, you can throw a lightweight hoodie like this one right here. And the thing that I wanna mention is that, again, you don't have to be scared about getting true to size and not being able to stuff things in it. There definitely is a lot of room on the sleeves. The real issue of why I would say recommend sizing up is if you're gonna wear it clothes, just because the bottom of this particular piece, the hem really does constrict how far it's gonna stretch and how much it's gonna be able to take in terms of under layers. All right guys, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have your eye on this piece or any other Saint Laurent pieces. What are the grilled items that you're currently looking at? But with that, stay stylish and stay humble.